Okay, I'm going to read a couple donations real quick. We've got $5 from Zach M. It says, here's $5 donate to Caveman's Killer Stash. He's my hero. Got $15 from Stoic that just says kill all the animals, which is the correct choice, by the way. And $20 from LD that says, hey, y'all, woke up this early this morning to watch my boys Caveman and Jape. Good runs. Hope to see you all in the summer. LD's a cool guy. Uh, my, my mic on? Hey, guys. Huh? I'm just messing around, giving people a taste of what he knows. <laughs> and I have $50.20 from Fox Peace that says, Hey, Jape, good luck on your Taz run. I've been hyping it up to my friends and stream viewers for the longest time and have stayed up till 3 a.m. Greetings from Hawaii and much love from 502 Crew. You got this. Thank you, Fox. Thank you to everyone for your donations. Keep them coming. <laughs> got it. There's got to be a reason we're playing these horrible games. Little tongue, guys. All right, uh, can I get someone to like reset the console? <laughs> All right, uh, whenever I do time or countdown or whatever, just do it. Is that the reset? Are you sure? <coughs> yeah, it's, okay, all right. Uh, someone just count down and then do time and reset. And I'll go. Hey guys, so uh, this is Taz. It's a cool game, I guess. I don't really know that much about it, to be honest, but uh, <laughs> the story is basically that the Taz family is really hungry, and, uh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> the Taz family is really hungry, and, uh, they, so yeah, these, these water things are, like, uh, basically random. It's pretty cool. Good start to the game. You basically see exactly how it goes. I'm actually going to have to die on the first level. Uh, I won't have to. We'll, we'll make it, we'll make it work. But, uh, so wow, you went on the head of both of them. Yeah, yeah. So the Taz family is, is really hungry, and there's a big giant egg that they have to get. <laughs> so uh, once they get to the egg and, and get it, then, you know, the Taz family is full. It's a pretty good story. Uh, as you can see, the controls and the, the, the sound especially are uh, really terrible. You just wanna, I'll, just, I'll just be quiet for this level. You can kind of hear, like, the, the cool jump sounds. Yeah, this game has great sound effects probably my favorite audio design in any game that I know. So, um, Jabe did some big skips there in that level. You're supposed to go, like, all the way around, but he jumped off this, um, bug near the start of the level, and he skipped, like, a lot of it. In this one, you're supposed to, like, jump on the car, but if you get the, uh, the bomb and throw it at it, you know, you can kill it, and it kills you at the same time, but... Your Taz, so you can take a punch. Some, something interesting about that level. Something interesting about that level is it runs at 60 FPS. The rest of the game runs at 30 because it lags every other frame. So for some reason, like the car level runs at 60, and uh, we don't know why. I think it's because it's just a lot smaller than the other ones. But probably. You never know with <laughs> these kind of games. Now my friend Cipher was telling me that this was made by two developers. Is that true, Cipher? Uh, I think so. Uh, I want to say when we were when we first discovered the game, we saw it was two developers. So Maybe I'm wrong though. So if any Taz devs are watching and want to correct us, please uh, phone in or something. That'd be really cool. <laughs> so in this level, you're supposed to like uh, hit switches to turn off these electrical gates that you just saw. But the hit stun in this game is like so long that if you get hit by one and you do a, a, some jumps, you can you know skip them. This one's pretty tight. I might not get it, but I got it. Nice. Pretty good little. Engine. You didn't have to go for the smelly ham. No. Taz really likes to eat smelly ham. Or All right, so here we are cheese. in the ice dungeon. There's a lot of um, ice platforms that you have to traverse, and they're not in a regular pattern. So sometimes you can fall into the water, but yeah, like that. But it only takes away a little of your life, so you should be good. <clears throat> Pretty good. Nice. I've been practicing the ice. Oh, time. also, that stage has two um, exit signs for some reason. Yeah. There's one like one after like the a, first one. One of them's like a fake or a, a supposedly a secret, but I've never understood it. Oh, so something in interesting about these uh, bush rats is their spears will sometimes hit you out of your spin animation when, like, when you're in your spin, you're usually invincible. 
Um, even bosses are side. just like, they just take damage. They can't hit you while you're in your spin. But sometimes the, um, the bush rat spears will hit you out of your spin. And it pretty much just depends on your frame of animation for the spin. Um, so it's pretty much entirely random. Sometimes you'll kill them instead. <clears throat> and also, if you get hit by anything when you're not in a spin, like if you're just jumping, yeah, you lose all momentum and you just fall straight down until you hit something. And like, so in vertical levels like these, you know, it's pretty cool to just completely fall straight to the bottom. And there's some levels later on that are like, just, there's just a lot of stuff and it can get, you know, frustrating and difficult. So yeah, like Cypher was talking about, this is uh, the first real boss in the game, but uh, you know, if you just spin and mash left and right, you can't do anything. <laughs> and it's over. Pretty good. Uh, is this minecart? No, no. Not yet. One more. Oh yeah, these river levels are really, really confusing. Um, there's this weird, like, uh, multiple tiers of the river, and um, the developers intended you to... Are there logs in this one? No, uh, there might be actually. Yeah. There uh, are. No, I think there are logs in the the second river level. There were in that one as well, but okay. uh, there's so, there's so many platforms it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, this is a minecart. It's a cool level. You know, you just go up and down. Um, it's kind of I guess infamous if you played it as a kid because it's pretty it, stupid. It, yeah, it's like it's impossible to beat it. It's complete in under, trial and error. Yeah. It goes too fast for you to react to. So if you're playing for the, playing this for the first time. Uh, prepare to die at least 20 times yeah. before you beat this level. Yeah, because like these, uh, you know, <laughs> yellow being slow, you have to just like slow down. And then, you know, there's that. Okay, good. Everyone clap for me, please, because that's pretty hard to do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is my personal least favorite level of the game. It's uh, pretty long, and there's a, a part later on that's like just so completely different from everything else in the game. That I mean, you'll, you'll see when I get to it why it's bad. There's also uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, there's a lot of blind jumps, which you know, like it's just more trial and error, really. Rats off to that guy. You have to kill that guy because he'll just interrupt your ascent in the elevator. Uh, it's possible for these elevators to be out of cycle, so I could die here completely, not my own fault. Could be my fault as well. So that, you know, that's a pretty tough blind jump there, when you're first playing. <laughs> Another blind jump here, but not, not so blind. So yeah, this part, I'm not really sure what they thought about putting it in the game. It usually takes a lot longer than this, but uh, you, if you just hold down and jump, you kind of go through the elevator and you help it go uh, further down than it should. But it still takes uh, four jumps to get up there. And you just keep going. Pretty fun. So I should be able to get up to the top now. Yeah. You gotta wait for this thing again. Like, how would you ever know what to do? Okay. Nice. This is another river level. I'm gonna kill myself on purpose in this one because uh, you're supposed to like go on these rocks and logs and all that, but uh, it's much faster to just hit the checkpoint and then die and then uh, do it all again for the second half. Yeah, this is what I was talking about with the weird um, tier thing. Like you have you to like hold up. You, yeah, you hold up and then you can land on a log or a rock that's like yeah. higher up on the river, and it's really confusing. <clears throat> But yeah, Jay just skips all that. Yeah, no need to do any of that. This is uh, the big weed. If you uh, are subscribed to my buddy Cypher chat, he has a, an emote right here, the no weed emote. It's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, it's, actually, it's actually faster to pick up a no weed bag and throw yeah, it. So I'll, I'll, I, I don't normally do this, but just for... Oh, I, I <laughs> got a little ahead of myself there. <laughs> One feature of the Tasman is you can... Um, Spin away any uh, like any beneficial items yeah. that are there. I'm on gonna, sorry to interrupt. But I'm gonna go for a warp here. Uh, there's no guarantee I'll get it. If I do, it skips about half the level. I didn't get it. It's uh, basically completely random. 
You can't do anything to influence it as far as I know. You just hold right and jump, and uh, sometimes you'll hit the fire, and you'll uh, just skip some, you know, half the level. Um, no real rhyme or reason to it. Now, this one only saves about 10 seconds. The, there's another one coming up in two levels that'll save, like, that just skips the whole level, so. <clears throat> yeah, there's another form of warp in this game uh, that you can do in every level where uh, you have to hold up and then you have to press jump. Jump on, on the first frame the level loads and then yeah. let go on the next frame. There's no visual cue if the level has loaded or is loading right. or anything. Jape's doing a um, warpless run so he can show off the whole game. But um, if you do the warps, you basically have to mash and hope that you land on this frame that has no cue at all. And um, if you get the frame, you can, in most levels, you can warp to the very end and just complete the level in one second, literally. <clears throat> The jumping and stuff in this game is very finicky. Sometimes you have to delay your jumps, sometimes they just, you know, don't come out. It's, it's, you know, it's whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna go for this, uh, you know, skip here, if I get it, cool. Of course I didn't get it, you know. Why well, show off anything cool at AGDQ, right? <laughs> uh, there's stuff on my Twitch channel, which you should follow if uh, you want to see those skips. But uh, you might be thinking, like, I just saw this level, because you did. You know, the first half is exactly the same. Pretty sick design. Well, two developers, you know, they have limited resources. Of course. Now, uh, coming up is the penultimate boss of the game. Uh, I like to call him Dark Taz, because, uh, you know, he's you, but uh -oh. he's an evil little version of you. Anyway, it's just the same as any other boss. Just spin at him. He can't do anything. He, he, he tries, but, you know. Done. So this is the last level of the game. This is the mama bird uh, guarding her egg. And yeah, that's all you got. You just gotta kill the bird. Really, the Taz family is kind of a lot of jerks. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> just spin here, you know, invulnerable. Pretty good. Uh, time will be coming up on this next hit. Time. 11 flat. Hey. Okay, cool. That's a really good time. <laughs> Give myself a round of applause for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good run. That was a really good run. Yeah. I'm really happy with that. I've got a list of shoutouts I can read if that's okay. If anybody minds. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the egg actually hatches into a, a baby bird, and, and Taz doesn't even get to eat it. All right, so. let's, see these, let's see these credits. Yeah, the credits are actually good. Uh, Taz gets Oh, it's more than two people. My bad. Taz, you know, chased by the bird. Actually, a lot of Didn't people. really uh, work out for him there. <laughs> but yeah, shout-outs to uh, Dirty Casuals, Giano, Sumi, Dia, Twig, The Good Stuff Gang, Fiery Mario, Polarity, Gooby, Cypher, Dustin, Sebmol, Funk Doc, my FF14 crew, MP Boar, Deathly, Walkinut, Darkman, Golden, Prinny, Pucci, Ivan, 520. All the people that have supported me, Garrison, Bletchy, Matt Blitz, Rib Killer, Karua, Dram, Minion, Cassius, CP Kaka, Use Pizza, Yig Drizzle, Rom Scout, Zex, RDD, K Doodle, Countdown, Duckfist, Striker, Jaden, LD, Andy, Ivan, Cass SB, BJW, Rafi, Luz Behind, Jordan, Zyther, <laughs> The Joke Crew, Sicko and Joe, uh, SRL, SDA. Sorry if I forgot anyone. Thank you very much. Oh, and uh, TRV. Thank you. Didn't even say thank you to Taz. How about Taz? All right, I got a bunch of donations here to read. Before I do that, coming up next, we do have Radical Rex, which we have hit the cutscenes for. So that's fantastic. OmniGamer will be up in just a moment with that. I'm going to read a couple donations for us here. We've got Honer. $25 says, kill pixels to save frames. Sounds like a good trade to me. $50 from Cool Wool, making the world a better place one awful game at a time. These 50 go to the blindfold sections for Yoshi's Island. And for those of you who don't know, we have later on today some blindfolded sections on Yoshi's Island. If we hit the goal of 20,000, um, we're at a little over 12,000. So we're making our way there, but we're not quite there yet. If you donate, uh, think about putting your money towards that. <clears throat> 